Brian Adams has learned a lesson. The Canadian singer-songwriter has apologized after his Instagram post was condemned by people around the world as racist. I'm going to read it, so apologies in advance. Adams blames the COVID-19 pandemic on some effing, bat-eating, wet market, animal-selling, virus-making, greedy bastards. He was lamenting the cancellation of a concert series he was supposed to perform at London's Royal Albert Hall. People called him crass and racist. He deleted that rant and posted this. Apologies to any and all that took offense to my posting yesterday. No excuse. I just wanted to have a rant about the horrible animal cruelty in these wet markets being the possible source of the virus and promote veganism. Here's the thing. According to the World Health Organization, all available evidence is the virus did originate in animals in China. It could have come from bats, but it's still not certain. Nor is it clear how and where the virus jumped the species barrier to humans. There is no evidence it was made by anyone. Adam says he has love for all people and that his thoughts are with everyone dealing with this pandemic around the world. A Chinese-Canadian woman who is a vocal opponent of the Chinese Communist Party says she and her family are paying the price. Anastasia Lin was born in China and immigrated to Canada at the age of 13. She went on to win Miss World Canada and has been outspoken about human rights abuses in China and the so-called United Front. That's the networks the Chinese government uses to influence government policy in the West. Robin Gill reports. I am not anti-China. Anastasia Lin knows Beijing has many eyes on her, especially when she gives these speeches critical of the communist regime. If censorship of information endangers global health, now the coronavirus outbreak is a perfect example. But her blunt manner has consequences back in China, where she was born and where her father still lives. He's been banned from leaving the country, and the family's business acquaintances are visited by an agency known as the United Front. When the national security agent invite you to drink tea, it means that they're going to meet up with you, issue a vague threat. The United Front is a tentacle of the Communist Party of China and operates both at home and abroad. According to Amnesty International, the operatives allegedly harass or threaten people of Chinese heritage living in Canada to turn on dissidents and shut down critics. The way they operate is through fear and greed. The two worst thing in human nature. They try to intimidate you. If it doesn't work, they try to buy you off. According to security experts, these so-called spies are right here in Canada and are agents of China's Cold War with the West. The reports that we have are persons who have been subject to harassment by agents of the Chinese regime, whether they are persons in, in Canada with diplomatic protection because there are more um, diplomats accredited to the People's Republic of China in Canada than uh, all other countries. The Chinese embassy in Ottawa did not answer requests from Global News to respond to these allegations. So we went to the Prime Minister. His response? We will continue to defend human rights uh, while at the same time looking to uh, protect uh, Canadians everywhere around the world. Lin refuses to be silent and encourages others to be just as vocal. There are already a lot of voices. I just, I just hope that people will listen to them. There are people listening but many are reporting back to China. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.